Hello and welcome to CI in Under 5. My name is John Weezy. In this episode, I'm going to walk you through using one of the new features that we've recently released called Segment Insights. And I'm going to cover a second insight. Uh, so when we create a new one, you'll see that you have two options, overlap or differentiators. I covered overlap in a different video, so check that one out if you'd like to see how that works. I'm going to talk about differentiators in this one. So we're going to go ahead and click differentiate. First thing you're going to do is pick the primary segment that you're interested in uh, comparing. So I'm going to pick my high value customers. And I'm going to compare that against my uh, high risk return customers. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit next. Now what it's going to do is it's going to automatically pull in the different measures that I've created for my customers. I can uncheck any of these if I don't want to see them, but I'll keep them in here. And then if I want, I can also compare and get information about um, differentiating by something else. So I'm going to use state. We're going to save that. And I'm just going to say uh, high value versus uh, churn differentiator for a name. I can give it a description if I want to give it something more descriptive. And we're going to go ahead and let that save, and it will automatically kick off and run. And then what we'll do is we'll let that run for just a bit. And when that is done running, I will be back and we'll check in on what it gives us. All right, we're back and it is done running. So let's take a look at what we get here now with this. Uh, with this. So we only chose one attribute, state. Uh, so that's the we only see one entry here. Let's go ahead and take a look at state. And we can see, uh, for instance, the highest um, is 24% in California in our high value customers and 27% of our high risk for churn customers are from California. But if we open this up, what's interesting is it gives us a breakdown of each of the values. So you can see each of the states listed here. And then it's giving us a breakdown of the values for each of them. So we can see the difference really between them quite easily looking at the chart. Uh, pick out a state like, say, Montana. And with Montana, we can see that uh, the difference is relatively small. Um, there's eight people in our high value online customers, and there's one person in the high risk for churn uh, from, from Montana. But uh, you take a, a larger one, like California, and we have 527 people that are high value customers from California and uh, 20, uh, 44 who are high risk for churn. So we can see a, a comparison, a differentiation between uh, our different segments that we chose and uh, the different values. Um, we can do the same thing uh, for the measures. So uh, let's say we wanted to see you know, a lifetime spend. So we can see the lifetime spend here uh, between them, and this gives us the values on the left. So between $254 and $333.85 for lifetime spend, we can see that we have 101 people in that category in our high value online customers, but none of them in our risk for churn. So we might be able to combine this and try and figure out um, some of our really large. So this is a good one here. Uh, if we look for a, you know some, oh, here's a really good one to look at. So you can see that uh, $1,132 to $1,212, uh, we have 179 of those are in our high value customers, but uh, 18, so a rather large amount of our population in the high risk for churn fall in this particular category. So we may want to you know, revisit that particular group and see if we can not turn that around. Um, so this is uh, how you can use the differentiator to see the key factors that are different between different segments for you. Hope you enjoyed this video and tune in for more videos as they become available.